everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Climbing Arts and Crafts. So, I have another puzzle haul here <laughs> um, of a few pieces, as you can tell. You've got little Princey there, too. Um, and yeah, these have just arrived recently, so I thought I would do another puzzle haul quickly. Um, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this anyway. Um, but yeah, so. These aren't from Very Puzzling. Very Puzzling will be getting in Graphica, but these are from another store in Australia where I found some Graphica puzzles too, by the way, just for advance notice. So, yeah, I'm going to show you these and we will get going on it from here kind of thing. We will. So the first one I've got here is a 1500 Chris Ortega by Graphica, and this is, I think it's called Beyond the Veil, is it? The Veil of Death. It is. But I've noticed with this one, I think it's more a square puzzle. Because, But I've noticed it seems to be a smaller size than the others. So this is 1500 pieces, 68.5 by 70 centimetres. And on these ones, you see 60 by 85 centimetres. This is also a smaller box than the other graphical ones that I got. But, yeah, um, I'm really excited about it, obviously whole heap of dark colors again which is going to be interesting but yeah i'm still going to enjoy it anyway i have temporarily paused the hey a one that i was working on to do a colorful one whilst i wasn't feeling great last night and then i'll go back and finish the hey 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 a one um but yeah um i'm really loving the hey a brand even though the pieces are a bit loose in that but yeah i'm loving it anyway and yeah i just thought this image was quite interesting with Sort of part skeleton, part human, all the rest. I thought it was quite fun and interesting and unique. And yeah, I was very lucky to find this here in Australia. So yeah. Um, next three are some Josephine Wall by Graphica. So the first one we got here, I think this one's called... Um, pansy yeah josephine wall pansy so this is a whole heap of pansy flowers with the girl and the pansy and all the rest which is quite pretty and unique and interesting in my opinion it's 1500 pieces and it's 80 oh 60 by yeah 60 by 85 centimeters but yeah and if you hear thunder or wind blowing, it's because we've got a lot of bad weather happening at the moment too, by the way. Which I'll go and grab Lil's in after this. I just let her out to go to the toilets and that. Um, I've also got here this is another 1500-piece graphica by Josephine Wall, and this one's called I Saw Three Ships. Whoops, sorry, Prince. Just banged Prince. <laughs> so this is um like three angels and ships and all of that i thought this could be a very nice sort of even though it's not specifically christmas themed i thought it could be used as christmas theme sort of puzzle because of this um christmas song i saw three ships come sailing by on christmas day on christmas day blah 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 <laughs> so i thought even though it isn't a specific Christmas theme one, it could be used as a Christmas theme, just with the angels and all the rest. And yeah, there's some very pretty colours used in these Josephine Wall ones. I didn't get all the Josephine Wall by any means, there's too many, but yeah. I also got this Josephine Wall 2000 piece graphica, and this one's called... Uh, La Belle Eau Bois Dormit, or Sleeping Beauty. It is. So I'm guessing this is based on the on the um, Disney or fairy tale theme of Sleeping Beauty because you've got the spindle and the three fairies and the prince kissing Sleeping Beauty and I'm guessing that's fighting the dra going to fight the dragon and yeah. This is her in her room with the cobwebs and everything else. Yeah. Very similar colour tones, but I really like it anyway. And quite pretty box style too. I actually like the style of the box on that one. 
Um, the third last one that I've got is a Clementoni, and this is a 3,000 piece. I haven't seen too regularly here in Australia yet. And it's called, what is it called? Moonlit Wild. So this is like a wolf slash. I'm not sure if they're lynx or cougars. And all sorts of forest themed animals at night, moonlit, moonlit wild. So obviously the moon's shining and lighting up everything with all the animals. Yeah, I really loved this one. I thought it was quite pretty. And I've actually just finished the one that I did for Schmidt recently was by the same author. It had the same name written in it. But yeah, I thought this was very cute with the the wolves and the all the forest animals. I mean, it's three thousand pieces, so it is. Uh, what size is it? 118.4 by 84.5 centimetres. It is. So very, very pretty and very happy to have it. Um, the second last one that I've got here too. I'm guessing this is a 2021 release, but I'm not sure. Let me just look. Yes, it was released in 2021. It is called Dragonland. And this is a new 2,000-piece Ravensburger dragon puzzle. So I love this one. I've got the 9,000-piece dragon puzzle that Ravensburger was, um, has started releasing this year on pre-order as well. But I, I love this one with the dragon and had to get it and the snow and all of that. So And I noticed on this one, I'm not sure if it's a set with the 9,000-piece one because it had WT... Dragonland and that on some of the things that I googled and the 9000 piece that I've got also had WT written on it so I'm not sure if there's more in this set or if it's a specific set or not but yeah I really thought this one was so cute cool and um, awesome and I love how they've got the spikes on the dragons and the different colors so you got the red the tealy blue and then like that purpley green Sort of dragon, etc. And you got your castles, your snow, bits of snow covered areas with grass. So I'm guessing it's coming into spring or something. Bit of icicles up here. And the colours are gorgeous too. They really are. I really love it. And then the final one, I'm just going to show you this from here. It's the 6,000 piece Clementoni. So you can see. And this one is called Downtown. And this actually isn't readily available in Australia yet. I had to buy it through Amazon or get it through Amazon. And, um, yeah, I managed to get it on sale over Christmas or something. But I got this one through Amazon over Christmas for a cheaper price. It was about $40 shipping to get it here. But I'm very happy to have it. And this one's called Downtown. I'm not sure if it's by Ciro Marchetti or not. Um, I'm guessing it is. But I'm not totally sure. But yeah, I was very happy to gain get to collect this one. Um, with some pre-orders and that, I'll have basically all the current 6,000-piece Clementoni that they've released available on my puzzle. On my puzzle, no, on my collection. And yeah, I'm just very happy to have this. And it's got some cool, cute colours and interesting features and all the rest. And yeah, I'm just very excited to have this I guess you could say because now I've got how many one two three four six thousand pieces of Clementonis and I've got at least another two six thousand piece Clementonis to come yet to make up my collection of all the current six thousand piece Clementonis basically but yeah um this Clementoni, though, it does only just fit my table. I'm not sure if it's a centimetre margin on each side or if it's going to be less than a centimetre on each side between it to make it fit on the table. So that's going to be interesting. But, yeah, I'm very excited to have all of these. I really hope you've enjoyed this bit of a haul and my collect new additions to my puzzle collection. And, yeah, I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Like, I know I've 
eventually there are some it very puzzling that she's waiting to um pack right now but she's um um well what am i saying but we're working on like she's working on trying to find a new website because the one that she has wasn't working out so well and i've got to look into the blog stuff to do with that that i will be doing the blogs with and once i receive those ones i'll do a whole of those separate but Basically, I'm not necessarily getting them for free kind of thing. I'm basically, shall we say, doing the time time lapses and hauls and all of that to, and blog bits to make up for the products that I'm getting. And so there will be more puzzles coming in as the year goes and she can get those in. But also... Um, I do still have some on pre-order in other places as well yet to come, like the 33,600 Aduka puzzle, the wildlife one, and all the rest. But yeah, um, we'll get there eventually, I'm sure, and I'm really looking forward to getting to all of these. I'm just trying to do my best, and I'm hoping 2022 will be able to improve my health a lot more and all the rest. And yeah, I will hope you've enjoyed this haul, and I will see you later. Bye.